Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ATL QA Labs. In this session, we will look at one of the very important topic in software testing that is uh, also very popular nowadays in interview. So that's why I thought that I will cover it and uh, there are a lot of different confusing, uh, you know, um, answers uh, on uh, a net basically internet so that uh, uh, many of you uh, requested me to do this video so I thought that I will do it so that it can benefit everyone right so this topic is around uh, what is difference between smoke testing and sanity testing this is very important questions nowadays because people are asking it just to check whether you are uh, you have the good amount of understanding around software testing or not right because uh, software testing itself is a very good uh, very big topic basically big big uh, not topic i would say very big subject right uh, and uh, understanding the nitty gritty is very important right so let's try to cover this uh, what is first we will try to understand the def uh, the the definition and uh, what exactly this two different kind of testing and then later we will see the differences between them right and then we will be you will be very clear right so i'll try to explain you in a very easy manner and giving giving you an, giving you the proper example so that it can be helpful for you okay so first we will see sm smoke testing and then we'll see later uh, the sanity testing so smoke testing is basically what happens basically when we do right so when a developer is done with the build right developer basically uh, uh, does some uh, you know development and then, then they go for releasing the build right and once the build is released right build released for testing right release for testing what will happen is uh, the tester will uh, uh, tester will try to see that you know if the major functionalities are working right or not so let's say this build is let's say having 10 different functionalities right incorporated into this build right so 10 different functionalities are there so what tester will try to see it he will try to at least run 10 different test cases to check whether the positive flow is working fine or not right if any one of this functionality because these are the major functionalities right we are not going to check the negative and other you know alternate path etc we will just try to see this plain simple the basic positive flow whether the software is covering all these 10 functionalities so all this test 10 test uh, will be performed to check whether the software is stable and it is we can perform the further you know rigorous testing or not right so this is basically called the smoke testing why it is smoke testing because actually we are performing the testing on all these 10 functionality very basic things right very basic testing whether they are actually working is stable or not right so from that point of view right so checking the critical functionalities all the critical functionalities is called a smoke testing all right now when we do it when uh, we perform it when we when we get the new build from the developer right and then the tester will actually perform it and check whether all the functionalities basic functionalities are working fine it will be very quick right and then he will say that okay we are actually accepting this build for further rigorous testing right so this is what if any one of this functionality is not working then developer uh, the tester will say that this is not working and then he will reject the build and then it will uh, go back again to uh, to developer for fixing that particular right uh, the issue so this is what we do so what actually we do is uh, this is basically to check uh, to check the critical or i would also say basic functionalities okay all the basic functionalities point number one point number two is why actually we do this because we want to check the stability stability of the entire software stability of the entire software right we want to check each and every functionality yeah the basic functionality whether they are working fine or not third point is uh, who basically does it it is basically done by tester 
that I showed and then it is sometime I mean it is also done by developer as I, I would say I'll tell you when developer does it developer and tester I would say both okay so when developer is doing basically before releasing it uh, for testing right developer will also try to uh, run one um, a test right uh, kind of unit testing that developer perform right so it's similar uh, similar to that so developers uh, will do kind of unit testing and then if they need to fix something so they will actually check all the functionality roughly whether every positive flow is working that is nothing but the smoke testing only right and then tester will also do it before accepting it whether all the functionalities are working and uh, good for you know further rigorous testing right so these are this is done by both developer and tester and guys this is uh, this is smoke testing basically right so these are actually set of uh, set of test cases right this is always documented okay They're always documented and written right scripted as well why because um, uh, this smoke test basically we have to run all the time right so whenever we get the new build we have to run and typically this is um, this is also automated okay why automated because whenever we are getting a build new build we have to run all this right because these are very important all the functionality if there is new functionality added that also need to be added in our uh, this automated pack right so this is usually automated right automated in nature we try to automate it because we don't want to because this is repetitive or most of the time we have to run it right when we get a new release right all right now uh, this is uh, this particular this test case is basically right so these are uh, covering all the functionalities and this is basically also um, part of I will I will say this is subset of acceptance testing oi right? because acceptance testing why because in acceptance testing what will happen is the user is going to perform all this acceptance testing right uh, and and user will uh, make sure that uh, user is covering the positive and negative scenario right but in this case we are actually covering only positive scenario okay so that's why this is part of uh, acceptance testing all right UAT are uh, acceptance testing and this is by the way all positive scenarios okay guys positive test cases there is no negative scenario we are covering here because we don't want to cover um, you know negative scenario because this is only just to uh, check whether you know the system is working fine right uh, just to high level right now one more point is one more point one second now guys this is uh, basically uh, done on the entire system as I said right entire system this actually covers entire system not uh, um, you know subset of the system etc because actually we are covering all the functionality here though very uh, shallow but uh, everything it's wide and shallow right this also you can consider as wide and shallow shallow why shallow because we are actually covering only one test uh, but we are touching all the functionalities okay so this is basically the smoke test right so when we are actually performing this smoke test when we are getting the build right new build for the testing that point of time we are performing and before releasing the developer perform the same thing right all right now um, this is about smoke testing now we'll talk about sanity testing okay so what is sanity testing and when we do guys right so I'll tell you the scenario so what will happen let's say uh, let's say there is a defect fix all right uh, um, you know that uh, that so sanity testing is uh, done when um, like we have uh, let's say there are two scenarios right one thing can be uh, the new functionality functionality okay added or there is a defect fix defect fix also okay in that case what will happen let's say I already have 10 functionality okay so let's say 10 functionality is already there but I have one more right so 11 functionality there are total now 11 functionality so uh, as part of a smoke test what will happen when we will get the build everything will be tested right all the 11 functionalities but uh, 
but there is no change in rest of them what will happen is they say that okay can you please test the new functionality whether the new functionality is working fine or not right in that case what we will do we will actually test this only new functionality 11 functionality i or there could be scenario where there is a defect fix and we would need to perform a bit of regression testing to see that uh, you know this defect is you know fixed properly and uh, there is no other side effect uh, because of this defect fixes right in that case basically this sanity testing is very important so what we do is basically here we actually test only only this uh, new functionality and in this case we are actually testing uh, checking only few of the regression test cases okay we are not testing entire system right because we don't need to test right in this case even for the defect fixes we don't need to run the whole smoke testing right we want to actually check only related functionalities uh, whether related functionalities are impacted or not as part of regression testing or not right so this is always the part of regression pack right regression testing or your regression pack that you already might be having right and this will uh, as i said that this will be uh, this will be narrow right narrow and this is deep okay why it is deep because this is narrow why narrow it is because it is not covering all the functionality it is only covering only one functionality or in this case only defect fixes right but we have to check whether this defect has fixed and because of that is there any any other problem so we have to actually check each and everything other scenarios negative scenarios and other things for example new functionality is added right in this this case what we are going to do we have to check this particular functionality thoroughly right all the negative positive scenarios right so that's why it is deep but it is narrow because it it is not covering all the functionalities it's covering only one functionality in this case right so this is also uh, so this is covering positive guys okay this is okay uh, now let's try to do one thing guys okay uh, let's try to see here okay who is performing is uh, i will talk about this first okay so who normally performs performed by tester only and no developer because this needs a deep testing right and the uh, and the particular functionality has been has to be tested properly right all the positive negative scenario now uh, this is positive and negative both kind of scenarios negative testing <coughs> need to be tested now uh, are we going to perform this on the entire system no right so only particular particular component component of the software right all right now uh, this is part of as I said that this is part of regression testing already right so this is we already have the regression pack and this is part of regression testing all right guys and now um, this since since we are actually picking up uh, um, picking up based on the defect fixes and new functionality uh, if it is new functionality then we might have to you know document it but normally if it is a defect fix in that case we don't need to document it right document no document not documented basically okay because we are actually picking up some of the test cases from the existing regression pack right so not documented basically okay so hope you are able to understand this this is the basically the difference you know different uh, points around you know smoke testing and uh, and sanity testing and uh, hopefully you are able to understand it so uh, so you can give the example when we perform the smoke testing the smoke testing is performed when we have we receive a new build brand new build uh, for testing in that point of time we actually check all the major functionalities whether they are working fine or not right we do not discount any of the functionality all the major functionality we have to cover okay uh, but sanity testing we actually do it when we uh, there is a, you know new addition of the new functionality or any defect fixes is done in that point of time we are actually performing this sanity testing right all right so hopefully you are able to understand this guys and uh, if you still have any doubt or any questions uh, do comment in the video i will try to clarify it okay and uh, so that's all for this video and uh, 
i'll see you soon with the next video guys and until then happy learning god bless you bye